and towed it out. Kathy Oxier, 10840 Monterey Forest Cove. I'm going to show. Show and tell. Yeah, I got the CD. We printed it out. We looked at it and compared. There were some pages that were missing from ours, but and redacted. I would like to say that this item on this agenda today stinks. The fact that the agendas were not released until yesterday, sometime between 9.30 a.m. and 12.30, stinks. So, no time for citizens to prepare to be down here from, from work or wherever. Okay. This is the largest contract in the history of Memphis Light, Gas, and Water, and the largest project. Just because this contract is for approximately $240 million doesn't mean it's the full cost of the project. You are delusional if you think it is. They've already purchased $55 million computer system, plus the meters that were purchased in 2013. For $306 million now and counting. Also those items, Ms. Halbert, you asked are probably out there. They're not self-identified by Memphis Light, Gas, and Water, and this is all totally disingenuous. Okay. I would like to say that the projected life on these meters is inaccurate and misleading. A leading power company executive this summer testified before the U.S. Congressional Committee. Their, their customers range in two million utility customers, electric only. He said, these meters only last five to seven years. Five to seven years, not 20. That's the electric meters. So we're gonna re start replacing them real soon. Built-in obsolescence, they never pay for themselves. Secondly, Germany, the largest, strongest economy in the Eurozone, stopped their smart meter deployment. Here is an article where Ernst & Young, Germany, did a study for the German government. It says, the study shows that the cost of smart metering system clearly exceed the average potential savings for final consumers with low annual consumption. This is also in direct agreement with the TVA says on its own site. Smart meters are beneficial to large utility consumers, not for the low end residential consumer. Not for the low end residential consumer. The benefit is only for large utility consumers. That would be commercial users. I would also like to say that projections, savings, back in 2013, 2014, I'm sure have been amended because they're bogus. They use no cost of money. Cost of money is interest, right? It costs money when you're spending money. But in the budget you'll be voting on soon, there's $110 million in bonds that will be issued. And I know that's connected largely to the smart meters because if you would have watched or attended the May meeting of the Board of Commissioners when they approved this contract, you would have heard Board Commissioner Mr. Rick Massand say, I'm all for these meters because I know we're going to pay for them out of bond revenue. It's on the record. It's there. Bond revenue. Cost of project, disingenuous, bogus. The meters never pay for themselves, people. Never. It's not good fiscal conservative responsibility. It's not. Secondly, Public safety. You are charged with the public safety of your citizens. 
And now, since you're responsible for all this Memphis Light, Gas, and Water project, you're responsible for all of Shelby County. By voting for this RFP proposal, you were saying this is a safe, safe project and good for your constituents. Safe and good for your constituents. Well, smart meters catch fire. They arc and they spontaneously combust. They are flawed. And there's lawsuits out there that have been filed all over the country and all over the world. Someone else will be telling you about some of those lawsuits that are against Elster. So, you saw the pictures of the burn meters. These are from Memphis. Memphis. The house back there, the pictures of the burned house, was the one in Whitehaven on June 7th, Sunday, June 7th. Do you see the car that exploded because of the, it was under the carport? Because the gas in the tank? During the day. Now, why do I say that the smart meter would cause this fire? And why did the family say that? And why did the neighbors say that? Well, one, a neighbor witnessed a Memphis Light Gas and Water employee in a Memphis Light Gas and Water truck taking the meter, the meter housing, the meter head, I know more about this than I ever wanted to know, and the wiring before the Memphis Fire Department had cleared the scene. Now, if arson had been suspected, would they not have been considered tampering with evidence at the scene of a crime? But let me say this too. I know of another house that burned the weekend before. It was in Collierville, and someone said, I think they had a smart meter. So I went to look. Now, I didn't bring my phone up here, but I have pictures of that house that burned, which is now being rebuilt from the foundation. Well, their meter was still there. Well, why was that? Well, isn't it the policy of Memphis Light Gas and Water to go take the meter off the house if it burns? Well, no, that meter was still there because it was an analog meter. An analog meter. So why do they go take the meter off that house? And you know what? Those people were dang lucky to get out of there alive. They didn't even have shoes on their feet. Shoes on their feet because they had to run out another door because their main exit on the carport was on fire. It's a wonder they didn't die. If they'd been sleeping, I think they might have. Okay. So none of this makes sense. I urge you. No amount of money, no amount of personal ambition, professional or political, is worth the life. One life of someone you know, someone you love, your children, your grandchildren, your spouse. No one, no life is worth any amount of money, any amount of gain, personal or otherwise, to vote for this contract. The life of someone you love could depend on this, and maybe even your own. So I urge you, this contract is worthless to the community, and I urge you to vote no, because the life you save could be your own. I hope nothing bad ever happens to you or yours. I really, truly don't, because that's why I've worked against this contract for two and a half years, because of the good of the community. Thank you. All right, is um, Karen Spencer-McGee here?